So Wi-Fi not showing in Windows 11 as well as 10. Any version of your Windows you are using, you are going to try these steps. The very first thing that you are going to try is go to search and you are going to type airplane. Click on this airplane mode. Make sure it is turned off. If the issue persists, go to status. In the same page, here you have a network troubleshooter. Click on it. So if you have a problem with the Wi-Fi, click on select Wi-Fi and click on next. So this should fix your issue. It could not uh, identify any issue. If it has any issue, it will find for you. Uh, if this is still persist, proceed to the next step. So the next step is uh, make sure you do not have any kinds of hardware issue. Uh, there might be a router from where you are accessing the Wi-Fi. So reset that router once or turn off the, you'll have a reset button in the router. And otherwise you're gonna switch off your power cable, one that is connected to your router, one that is throwing the Wi-Fi for around 30 seconds to one minute and again turn it on. So that was the next step that you're going to drive. If the issue is still persist, uh, proceed to the next step. So in this step, uh, Windows and R key, you can uh, press in your keyboard. This will open this. So you're going to type here services.msc. Click on OK. And here you have. So here you're going to search for Wi-Fi. Uh, you're going to hold W key. So there must be some Wi-Fi auto configuration. So here, yeah, sorry, it's a WLAN auto config. So here you have a WLAN auto config. Uh, go to properties, give a right click on it, and make sure it is automatic. You're gonna choose to automatic and okay it. And then you're gonna restart your PC and see if it is uh, problem is gone. Otherwise, proceed to the next step. So in this step, you're gonna see this PC. It might be in your desktop also, shortcut. Give a right click on it. Click on manage. And then you will go to device manager. So here you must have a Wi-Fi driver. It's a network adapter. When I click on it, so it's a wireless adapter. So problem is with the Wi-Fi. So I'll click on, I'll give a right click on it and update the driver. You're going to search automatically for the driver if you are connected for the internet. Otherwise, what you're going to do is You have to give a right click on it and once you can do for this hardware for a scan for the hardware change and even you can disable and enable it back again so disable it so if i'm disabling it now what i'm going to give a right click on it and enable it back again and then it needs to be working fine so this is you, know, you can do over here Another thing you can do is, uh, you can click on update your drivers and you can browse, uh, browse my computers for the drive. So you're gonna show the locations over here, exactly the folder where you have the drive. You can browse and you can select and you can install it. So you need to download the wireless driver. So it's better to download from the official website. So if you're using any branded PC, so you can go into the brand manufacturer or official website and you can give the exact uh, model of the PC you are using and you can search for that driver and wireless driver and install it into your pc after downloading you can install from here click on update you want to click browse from your computer and you can install it from where you have downloaded so click on browse from wherever so wherever you have saved it you can just install it sometimes you'll uninstall the driver and restart your pc so if you uninstall the driver and restart your pc sometime it will automatically install the driver you don't have to manually download and install if you do not install now automatically when you restart the PC after uninstalling you have to manually download and install it. So all these things you can do with the drivers, wireless driver if you have a problem with the it's a Wi-Fi not showing. Whether in Windows 11 or Windows 10 or other version of the Windows you can follow the similar steps it works. So hold the Windows key and R. Here it is. Uh, you're going to type msconfig msconfig. Click on OK. And then you'll go to services and make sure all the services is enabled. If not enabled, click on enable all and then I click on apply and OK. If the issue persists, uh, you're going to click on Wi-Fi setting. You're going to search for the Wi-Fi on search and come down 
and here you will have a change adapter options. Currently it is enabled, give a right click on it, make sure if it is disabled, you can enable it. So if it is in a disabled state, give a right click on it and enable it. After enabling, it should show. So all these were the possible best steps that you could try. Finally, one more step that you can try is, this is the CMD, give a right click on it and run as an administrator. You'll open the command prompt as an administrator and here will come on, type the command. Int sh. So this is the command that you're gonna try. This is the last command. And then press enter key. So these were the possible best steps that you could try for this solution. So if it solved your issue, be sure to hit the like, subscribe and comment.